Welcome back to another throwback film review. This time we are going to 1998 for the buddy cop action comedy uh, film Rush Hour starring Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Um, Rush Hour was uh, Chris Tucker's biggest role up until that point. And I don't mean necessarily his most iconic role. I still think uh, when I think of Chris Tucker, I think of him as Smokey. But really, Rush Hour brought him to a whole new wider audience and made him pretty much one of the, the biggest comedy stars at the time. Um, and Jackie Chan, of course, legend. Uh, this film was really inspired and kind of came out after Rumble in the Bronx to really... It, that to really give Jackie Chan a foothold in the American market after making Hong Kong action and uh, kung fu flicks and comedies in uh, Hong Kong for years. Uh, this was really Jackie's first big worldwide uh, hit by an American studio. And so Rush Hour to me, um, I remember growing up and liking the movie. I think Rush Hour uh, as a film itself at the time, it was pretty fun. It was, it was a nice duo movie uh it was you know a standard buddy cop movie that we've seen from time you know since the beginning of time uh whether that's lethal weapon bad boys turner and hooch um <clears throat> excuse me um yeah it, it there's there's been so many of them so this doesn't exactly break the formula in any ways, but it is kind of unique having two minority leads in that big a role. Um, and so that's where the movie, I think, gets its credit. And it's the chemistry between Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker that really sells the movie. But in uh, watching a uh, interview that Jackie Chan did back in 2013, he actually didn't care for Chris Tucker, and Jackie Chan doesn't care for the first rush hour in particular because he doesn't think the action's very good um and he particularly he didn't understand a lot of what chris tucker was saying and in an interview he actually said chris tucker was talking a little too fast and uh he, it was hard for him to understand and he was late but they worked through that and now jackie chan and chris tucker actually have a pretty good friendship um they you know chris tucker occasionally goes to china and visits and spends time with jackie chan so it's good that they were able to work through that and they got two other films out of it and the fourth rush hour is reportedly in the works but i'm not sure uh brett radner's probably for sure not writing it because of all the me too stuff that's come out he's not going to be coming back to the director's chair um he directed the first three movies and brett radner as a director he has let's just say he's not the best um i think it's more of the performances in a lot of the movie in the movies that he directs that really carry it i think with the rush hour movies it's the chemistry between jackie chan and chris tucker in x3 uh the third x-men film um there were other problems in that movie but Red, uh, brett radner didn't help and in money talks it's the performance of chris tucker that really made that movie and so yeah uh Brett Ratner won't be missed if there is a Rush Hour 4. I think a new director could add a new flavor to the movie, and perhaps they can actually get it off the ground and maybe expand the franchise a little bit. I know they tried to come out with a Rush Hour TV show, too, and I think Brandon T. Jackson may have uh, may have been the star of that. Um, yeah, I think yeah Brandon T. Jackson was the star of that, or... Give me just a second. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, Rush Hour TV. Uh huh. Yeah, no. Uh, misspoke. Uh, I think Brandon T. Jackson may have been doing the the TV show version of Beverly Hill Cop. I'm I'm not too sure. But uh, as far as Rush Hour itself goes, from where I sit, from my perspective, I think it works to an extent. I think some of the dialogue probably should. You know, it, it's now awkward. Uh, Jackie Chan saying "What's up, my nigga?" is a little. It's a little awkward, and I'm sure Jackie felt kind of odd saying that too. Um, yeah, it, it was it was kind of weird. Um, some of the jokes they don't really hold up but again i think it's the energy and the performance 
of the two leads that really carries it. I think their dyna- their uh, dynamic is what makes the movie even remotely enjoyable. Um, th- essentially, the plot of Rush Hour is uh, a counselor, a diplomat's daughter from China, is kidnapped. Uh, Lee comes, is uh, invited over to help with the investigation. The FBI doesn't want anything to do with Lee, and so they now uh, pair him up with a fast-talking LAPD detective, and hijinks ensue. That's essentially the plot. Um, <clears throat> if you've seen one of these action movies, you've seen it all. The British actor is the bad guy. Uh, you can kind of tell that from right away. Uh, he's Tom Wilkinson. He would go on to play Carmine Falcone in uh, Batman Begins. And he's he's a pretty intimidating bad guy when he's Carmine. And here he's kind of shady. He's kind of sneaky. So he works in that perspective and, and in that role. Uh, the FBI agents, one of whom is played by... <coughs> excuse me. Mark Ralston, who you may remember from the Shawshank Redemption, he was Boggs, uh, the the main, the leader of the gang, the sisters. Uh, he would also be in The Departed as well. Uh, Chris Penn, the the brother of Sean Penn, he would also star in the movie. He plays a, a, a sort of an arms weapons dealer. Uh, Clifton Powell plays uh, has a small role. He plays uh, a crime lord and Chris Tucker's cousin. I like the interaction with them and any excuse to see Clifton Powell on screen. Hey, I'm all for it. I love Clifton Powell. To- Clifton Powell, great actor. Um, this is actually the second movie that Clifton and Chris Tucker have done together. They starred in, um, <laughs> excuse me, in Dead Presidents, which is another movie that I really want to review. I haven't seen that in a while, and I think a, a review is needed of that one. But overall, with regards to Rush Hour, um, yeah, it, it wasn't a big enough hit. It spawned two sequels and a TV show, and probably a third sequel. Um, and it really launched it launched Chris Tucker into uh, kind of international stardom and solidified Jackie Chan as a box office draw here in the United States. So overall, movie's okay. I would say it's about a six out of ten for me personally, uh, but it's still a decent time. And that's it for the review. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my stuff. Uh, follow me on all the social medias. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, treat each other well, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.